Good morning from Joanda Airport here in Surabaya, Indonesia, where I'm in the domestic terminal, about to take a flight to Makassar. Now, normally in airports, I get free access to the business lounge because of the lounge key that I have with my credit card. However, in this airport, or actually this terminal, domestic terminal, they don't take it, only an international terminal. So I'm slimming it here like a peasant in the regular departure lounge looking for some food that I'm gonna have to pay for. And check this out, they've got a wee Baxo meatball stall right there, except it's all nice and hygienic. That's nice, isn't it? I might try that. Or I might go explore a bit first, but this is like a big long area here with about 15 gates and it just seems to be food all the way. Oh look at that, you can play in the hammock. Hello, Haggy! Look, you can have a little hammock there to sit and relax. What else have we got? Roti Boy, a bunch of cafes. So I'll find something good anyway. Check this out guys, they've got a co-working space right there. It's like office style desk and chair with place to plug in your laptop and everything. That's kind of cool, isn't it? It's kind of considerate. Especially for people that don't have access to the lounge. That's the lounge there, I asked them. Because I seen it on my lounge. So this is terminal one, apparently. In terminal two, you can get in with the lounge key. And then I tried with this one, they say it's not only the international terminal. So yeah, your man on the hunt. There's plenty of options though, and I like this. It's like the street food parks except hygienic it's good hi right, brother this is a food court ah uh, okay i'll have a wee look around in here i think it's an actual food court yeah it's all these wee stalls oh nasi goreng i think that's what i'm up for actually i've not had a nasi goreng since i got here to indonesia the first trip that I did to Indonesia, the Sumatra trip, I was eating nasi goreng for almost every meal. And I love it. So, yeah, I don't know what the difference are. I've got nasi goreng, jawa, mawot, telor, ambaya. I know that this is egg. I don't know. Uh, but it doesn't seem like there's any staff here. Hello, uh, Sayad. Uh, Mau makan nasi goreng. You want with egg? Yeah. I, I don't know what the best one is. There's Java, Mawut, and Telor Ambayar. I just and don't know which one is. Telor Ambayar with egg. egg. Uh, Java with egg. It is Telor Ambayar. Telor Ambayar is nasi goreng Java with egg. Ah, okay. I will try that one then. Nasi goreng Java with egg. Okay. Yeah. Good. And this food court pay with cash or I need to get a card or something? Oh, with, with cash? With card? Yes, cash. I give him cash. Okay, good. And your drink? Drink, uh, I will find from the drink. There's one here, right? Yes. Yeah, I will go over and have a look at this one. Okay, so I don't know the system. Because in a lot of food courts and malls and stuff, it's like you have to get a card first and preload it with money. A lot of the food courts in Asia, it's like that. Uh, but here, it's, you pay straight cash to the station. So let's find something sweet to go with the nasi goreng. Hmm. It's jeruk, that is iced orange juice. What is the best one? What the best one we have? Yeah. Uh, just lychee. Just lychee? Oh, I like lychee. lychee yeah. yeah, is it fresh? Yeah, fresh. that was fresh. Fresh? Oh, okay. We'll get a f this juice lychee. Okay. okay, good. Okay, so I pay now, yes? Uh, for the payment, you can do a cashier, please. Ah, okay. So you give me your receipt first? How okay. do I do this? You can sit first. Oh, I sit first, yeah. eat, then I get a receipt and pay on the way out. Yeah. Okay, now I know the system. Okay, good. That's good. Learn the system, guys. Every place has a different system. <laughs> if, you, if you follow my vlogs before you come and travel here, you'll know all the systems for all the different eateries and stuff. And it looks like they have a... If you want to have a look at the menus before you come here, put that QR code on your phone and have a wee look. Okay. okay, we've got the lychee juice freshly blended. The lychee is a very nice flavor, but I don't think it's too sweet. So I will know if they've added any sugar or anything to this. A lot of times I've been getting fresh juice. They've been adding like condensed milk to it to give sweetness. So let's see. I prefer just the natural sweet. The nat even if it's like uh, just a little bit of sweetness, I prefer the natural juice. 
Oh yeah, it's natural. Yeah, it's just mildly sweet, lychee. There's little chunks in there as well. I like it, nice and fresh. Mm. And we also have nasi goreng right now. So it's your typical fried rice. Oh, they didn't give me any of the crackers, the kirapuk. They did give me meat. I didn't know I was getting that. That looks like sliced chicken meat right there. So it's sliced chicken meat and egg. Maybe that is the Japanese style. But I want my prawn crackers, the kirapuk, I think they're called. Any kirapuk? Yeah. The kirapuk, the crackers. Crackers? You know? I think, okay. What are they called? They're called kirapuk. Kirapuk. Kirapuk? Yeah. Okay, the kirapuk. Yeah. I, I like that. I like to scoop the rice up with them and get that crunchiness and then the softness of the rice, the, the combination of textures that I like. Uh, usually they come as standard with a nasi goreng. This is the first time I've had nasi goreng they didn't give me. Oh, you have? Oh, so many variety. Uh, what are the ones I normally get? I think, uh, what is this? Rambak Sepi. Lamb back sappy. Skin off pork. Skin off uh, pork. I want the ones for a prawn. You know, like the um, prawn cracker. Prawn, you know? No. Uh, the, the, the typical one you get with nasi goreng. Typical. Uh, I want the crackers you get with nasi goreng. You know? You don't have this kind, no? Only this. Only this? Ah, okay. Maybe this one? You can try with this one? Oh. Krupok ikan. It's the bigger one. Ah, okay. This Krupok ikan as well? Ah, okay. They're very strange. They're like, uh, like biscuits. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I'll try this bigger one. Okay. So, they're different, guys, to... What I normally get is the ones that are prawn. This one is fish apparently and looks like a big thick biscuit <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we got we'll see what we got let's give this a bite oh yeah they are the typical kind of krupuk crackers they're just very thick they're a, th a very thick version of it okay let's get stuck into the nasi goreng then itself Got the rice and chicken. Oh yeah. The sauce, the sauce. That's what makes the nasi goreng. Nasi goreng is just literally fried rice. That's what it translates to from Bahasa Indonesia to English, fried rice. But when you get fried rice in Indonesia, it's always with this delicious sauce. It tastes sweet and a little bit spicy and it's lovely. Mm and the egg for some extra protein. So, yeah, I think the only thing that really makes this Javanese, a Javanese style nasi goreng is the sliced chicken. That's the only thing that's different from how I normally get a nasi goreng somewhere else like Sumatra or whatever. And now this is my favorite when you have the cracker with the nasi goreng. And normally these prong crackers are kind of scoop shaped so you can scoop up the rice with them they're perfect i don't know why they don't have them they should be giving you them a standard with your nasi goreng okay i've definitely had better nasi goreng than that guys maybe a five out of ten not the best nasi goreng i've ever had not gonna be the cheapest either let's find out how much it's gonna cost us do i take this to here to pay? No, I pay here. Ah, okay. I thought I was taking that to the front. Your dollar is 140,000 rupees. 140? No, 4. 104? Ah, okay. 104. 100. I can give you the exact change. Okay. 104. It's okay, terima kasih. Thank you. Okay. Guys, nobody said it was going to be cheap eating at the airport. And nobody said it was going to be good either. So it's like you get an average meal for like three times the price, basically. Got myself 
Box Z from the Circle K. Now everything in there is double priced. You know, I've used Circle K a lot in the city, in Domara, those types of convenience stores. So I know what the real prices are for things. And everything there is just double. They just slap 100% markup hey. on everything. Hi, how are you? You good? What are you doing? Doing some work? Yes. Yeah, me too. I'm vlogging. <laughs> I watch your YouTube Oh, really? Channel. Okay, good. This, oh, <laughs> that's the Coke Zero wasted. Subscribe, <laughs> Yeah, subscribe. You already subscribe? Or are you going to do it now? I don't. Uh, oh, why well, you don't do it already? Oh, why well, you, well, you don't do it already? Uh, I watch it on you Facebook. Facebook, ah, okay. You can Facebook watch on watch. YouTube as well. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Deal. So about the drinks and stuff at the Circle K, I'm not complaining guys, I know that every airport in the world, they increase the prices of already. things. Already? Already subscribed, yeah, you already subscribed, good, on YouTube. They increase the prices of things in airports everywhere in the world. I'm just not used to it because I've been using the lounges for like the last, I don't know, decade or something. I've always had some sort of access to lounges. It's just sometimes when you're in a domestic <laughs> terminal, you don't have access to it, so yeah. Never mind though, even double price Coke Zero is delicious. Where are you flying to? Alu. Ah, me, I'm going to Sulawesi also, but to oh, yeah. Makassar. Makassar. I think we, we own the same plane. Ah, is it the same place? Yes, what? same plane, but I, I transit to Palu. Ah, so it goes to Makassar and then it goes to... Oh, yes, you're Palu. transiting, you have two planes? Yes. Ah, okay. Hey, same plane, but... Uh, Oh, some people will stay inside and then go yes. like that? Ah, yes. really? Ah, okay, I didn't know they did Raja. Raja. Yeah, we'll go, I will go to Toraja. After Makassar, I will go to Toraja. But by I will stay in Makassar first. By bus? No, by plane. Now they have a small oh, yeah. airport. Like uh, three years ago, Jacoby, he opened it like oh, three yeah. years ago. Yeah, so I'm going to fly to there and see. It looks very interesting. It's only like 30 minutes flying. Yes. And if you go by bus, nine hours. Yes. Yeah, so yes. I think I'm being taking the smart option. But fairly expensive, like one and a half juta to go by plane. Same, yes. Yeah, only 30 minutes. A little bit expensive for that distance, but yeah, I think it's better than taking nine hours <laughs> on the bus. Yes. Yeah. And what were you doing in Surabaya? Uh, going to work. Ah, you just came here for business and then yes. going back now. Your home is Surabaya or it's in? In Palu. Ah, okay, so you're going home now? Yes. Ah, okay. Maybe you should visit uh, Togian Islands. Okay, Togian Islands. Yes, that's in uh, Central Sulawesi. Central Sulawesi, ah, okay. After Toraja, maybe. Okay, we'll see, we'll see, yeah. Have you heard uh, Raja Ampat, yeah? Raja Ampat, I've heard of that, it's an island, Papua, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, many places. Nah, uh, Togian is more, more cheap than Raja Ampat. But in, is it? In same, same beautiful. Ah, okay, but the less tourism is just starting there now, right? Yes. Before they didn't have much tourism. Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, I will see you on the flight. Maybe you, we are sitting near each other or something. Selfie for Yeah, selfie, okay. <laughs> Dale! Wait, wait, video. Dale Phillips! Hey guys, what's up? It's your man right here, enjoying a Coke Zero. He spilled some of it. He gave me a fist bump and I spilled some of my Coke Zero. <laughs> I'm sorry How about dare that. he? How dare he ruin your man's Coke Z? Oh, Double okay. price Coke Z as well. It's airport prices right here. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. See you. Okay. Thank you, man. Okay, see you on the plane. Yes. Okay. So I think that's my plane right here. I'm in 13, boarding gate 13 and yeah, uh, the plane isn't there unless it's one of these where we have to take the bus. That's for gate 14, the Lion Air. It just seems to be all Lion Air. This must be the main domestic carrier in Indonesia, or at least in this part of Indonesia, because yeah, it's like a whole terminal full of Lion Air. The Indonesian Ryanair, no frills. We're not getting a meal on this flight, guys. We're not getting a meal. Uh, this is probably what I should have went for. Baxo, some meatballs. It seems to be popular here. There's loads of meatball stalls. That nasty goreng, it was, I gave it a 5 out of 10. Now I'm thinking, maybe, maybe I was being too polite, maybe a 4 out of 10. It's just as ordinary as it possibly could be. How dare they not serve it with the Krupuk crackers? Those thick ones, uh, they just weren't the same. It wasn't what I was expecting. I've had good memories of nasty goreng. At little, little street side stalls, as rustic as you could possibly get, and they make it delicious. You know, they, get, they give you 9 out of 10 nasi goreng, not 4 out of 10 nasi goreng. 
Yeah, see more Lion Air, Indonesian Lion Air planes. Ah, this is strange. We seem to be boarding without showing the passport and ticket and stuff. Looks like we're just going straight through. Hey, chop! Ah, they're here. I guess it's so they can do it quicker. Selamat pagi. 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 I have to get in my seat then. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay. Oh, I got my seat. Oh guys, I wanted a window seat, but look at this. I've got uh I've got half a window and half a window. So <laughs> I guess that adds up to a full window seat. I don't know. Can I have to look out like this? But it's all good. An hour and a half, we will be in Makassar. First time ever in Sulawesi. Terima kasih. And this time there are Grab and Gojek pickup points right there. So this should be easy. We're about 25 kilometers away from the city center. And yeah, just gonna take a grab directly there. Hi. Uh, oh, this is the grab pickup. Uh, okay. I have the app. I can do. Okay. Okay, five minutes. It's done, five please. Minutes. Okay, no problem. That's good. There are a bunch of drivers. Neil, hi. How are you? You're the grab. Yeah, order already. Five okay. minutes coming. Thank you. Welcome to Makassar. Thank you. Okay. So. Or a seat or anything. I think I just stand around here. But um, yeah, there's a bunch of drivers just five minutes away. They're gonna come pick people up from these pickup points. You've got the two competitors, Gojet there and Grab. I tend to go with Grab just because that's the one that I've been using in Thailand and Malaysia and other countries. It's like that. You just get used to using one. Like I use What's the one? Kareem in Dubai. I was using Kareem in Dubai. Then I went to Egypt, they had Kareem. I used it there. I went to Pakistan, they had Kareem. I used it there. So, yeah, it's just what you're used to. But in this part of the world, no Uber, which is fine by me because I've been banned from Uber for since like 2016. Guys, this is what happened with Uber. 2016, I had one of my Thai bank accounts linked to my account and then I linked my UK bank card to the account and it just stopped working. But I didn't say I was banned or anything, it just wouldn't let me pick up a ride. Even if I selected cash as the payment, it just wouldn't let me do it. So that first trip, the first vlogs I'd made from Sri Lanka, I was trying to use Uber and it wasn't working. So I was just using Uber as a guide for what is the price and then bargaining with the, the rickshaw drivers there. But ever since, I've changed my email address, I've changed my phone, I've changed so many things, but they still find a way to link it back to me, and it's like a shadow ban that they've given me. And I've spoken to support about it multiple times, and they help me up until a point and say, oh, this looks very strange, we're gonna get our, like, 
next level support team to look into it and then they always get back to me and say yeah there's something wrong with your account and I'm afraid we won't ever be able to help you again with it or something like that and then they don't reply to any further emails so it's like I've been shadow banned or something and I can't get out of it until I think I, the next time I get a new phone I have to get a new email address a new phone number and a new bank card and then everything's different apart from my name maybe then I can sign up for an Uber account but for now in Asia Grab I think Grab bought over Uber's operations in the whole of Asia anyway, so there's no there's no Uber in these countries. Which is fine by me because they've treated your man badly. If you know anybody at Uber, tell them to sort your man's account out. That's an absolute shocking way to treat a customer. Six years, seven years. <laughs> seven years of being shadow banned for nothing. For the cheek of having bank accounts in two different countries. That's all I did was was link bank cards from two different countries to one account. They must think I'm a fraudster or something. Zero Desi? Huh? Desi? Desi? Yes. Like Indian, Desi. <laughs> Make some noise for the Desi boys. <laughs> He's asking me if I'm Desi. No, I'm Dale. I'm Desi Dale. <laughs> when I travel in India, I'm Desi Dale, but I'm here in Indonesia, so I'm not Desi, I'm just Dale. <laughs> Ah, oh, he says, Saya Kisana ke eh, Sekarang. Ya? Yeah. Mana? Ya, yeah, he says, Saya Kisana Sekarang. Oh, ya. Yeah. Tunggu. Tapi, uh, tapi tidak, eh, uh, San... Oh, okay, this is him here. Okay, good. He said I'm here. But he wasn't here, he was saying it in advance, now he's here. Okay, thank you guys, see you. Okay. I think this is him. Yeah. Let's make sure, check the number plate. Okay, oh, sorry. Oh, okay, me. thank you. Yeah, this is the right one. Okay, you get the service here as well at the grab pickup point. It's very good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. I took grab from the pickup point in Bali, and they they give you orange juice and stuff while you were waiting. They had like a little um, tables and chairs, and were serving you orange juice. So that was nice. If I go back to Bali, I'll be taking grab again. But um, yeah, it should be about. Like a 40, 45 minute drive and we'll be at my hotel. Hello. In Makassar. Hi brother, how are Hello. you? Hello. Good. Good, good, good. You're from Makassar? Yes. Orang Makassar. Orang Makassar. Okay, Asli. good. Orang Scotlandia. Oh, Scotlandia. Yeah, he's from Scotland. Your car very nice. Doriman. You have Doriman. Yes. Yeah, Doriman roof. I like Doriman. Yeah. Yeah, the Rindra. Hotel Is it good hotel? Good, good, good. Oh, okay, good. My friend recommended it. So. Oh, recommended. Yeah, recommended. So, yeah. I think we'll be good. This hotel here, the Rindra. This is where I'm going to be staying, guys. The Rindra. And this is people. Okay, so the mall and the hotel are one complex pretty good so that's the entrance to people the mall and this is the hotel right next door okay fantastic okay brother thank you very much prima kasi okay we've got security first okay no security? <laughs> I get to skip security, I think. Okay. Okay, cheers. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. Salamat siyang. Yeah. I am checking in. Check in? Yes. Yeah. It's me. Hi. Okay, we get a little watermelon juice. Fantastic. And there's more things here. Little cheesecakes. I can take. I think these are just for taking. They're just lying around at the reception anyway. Little cakes. I think I can just take them. I think I can just take one. Cheesecake. Okay. Ah, okay, it's fitness 24 hours or? Uh, no, until 8. Only until 8? Ah, okay. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, good. 
room 511. I'm going to. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's check this room out then. So guys, I'm paying $120 a night. It's pretty steep for Indonesia, but this room is double the price of their most basic room. So the rooms here start at $60 a night, and then the next level up is twice the size and twice the price. 511, this is where I am. Oh, it's not like the sensor, it's like you have to, the lift is like this as well, you have to stick it in. So your man will stick it in. Okay, first impressions aren't great, just from what I'm seeing. Looks fairly basic. Yes. <laughs> I would say it's a fairly basic looking room. I wonder what the $60 a night rooms were like. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of like the $30 rooms in Bangkok. Oh, but look what I get. Look what I get, guys. Okay, I guess this is what makes it worth it. I get the, how do I open this? I get the balcony right here, with a sofa and everything. Oh, and it's right over the swim pool. Oh, the swim pool looks good. Okay, it's getting better, it's getting better. Okay, um, all right, so we've got the working desk here. And this is what I was saying in an earlier vlog, guys, where, you know, it can be a bit hit and miss at these independent hotels, what you get as far as a working desk goes. When you stay in a Hilton, a Marriott, you're always guaranteed a good professional working desk, somewhere you can stick your laptop, a good office style chair. But here you've got a kind of like dining table. You know, it's all like rounded like that. It's got this stupid, you know, it's, it's not set up as a, you know, an office type professional CEO's desk. It's maybe somewhere you would want to sit for like 10, 15 minutes, not for a few hours. Yeah, so it's not too bad. I mean, I can definitely make do with that. Uh, I'll be comfortable enough there, but yeah, just making the point that when you stay in these and, oh, okay, it looks like it's just big enough for my laptop. Some of them also, the in-room safe aren't big enough for a laptop, but the chain hotels, they always, they have a lot of business customers, so they always have those things right. Okay, so. There's, I've got a personal message on the TV. Dear Mr. Dale Phillip, we're delighted to have you here. I'm delighted to be here in Makassar, ready to explore. We get four bottles of water. Are they all free ones? Yeah, with compliments. That's good. Some hotels are stingy and only give you two, and then you drink them all, and then you need to get more, don't you? Um, yeah, no bath. It is just... Okay, good. We've got a decent overhead rain shower there. Something you would expect out of a $120 a night room. And is this a, another me? Oh yeah, oh, what happened? No, that's banging into something. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, let's investigate guys. Let's see what's going on on this side. Oh, it's banging into the safe. That's what's going on. Yeah, so it's a shortcut. Look, you got a shortcut straight into the bathroom. That's kind of nice. That's a, Kind of nice design, but um, yeah, let's have a look on the balcony. I guess this is the main difference between the cheap rooms and the expensive rooms. I remember the cheap rooms didn't have balconies, so this is what we're getting. We're basically paying an extra 60 bucks a night for this. Oh, I don't know, guys, is it worth it? It certainly looks comfortable. The weather's nice for it. Oh, you miss maybe like 28 degrees or something right now, it's lovely. And uh, what else will be lovely, I think, is a swim in that pool right there. I think I can get it all to myself, guys. All to myself. Oh, here it is in here. Big Hugh Hefner, guys. Big Hugh Hefner in his stained, worn out old dressing gown. Kind of reminiscent of the room that I'm staying in. Just a wee bit grubby, a wee bit worn out. You can tell it's kind of an older hotel. It's probably really fancy when they first opened it and now could maybe do with a bit of a renovation, guys. But it looks like your man is getting this whole swimming pool to himself. Look, there's a wee kid there, but he's got his own wee section, wee kiddie section, and your man is gonna get all of this. There's something else over here. What is this? Is that like a jacuzzi or something? Is that a hot one? Let's go and have a look. Let's go and dip our hand. Big Hugh Hefner. Gonna check this one 
out. No, I think this is all oh, it's cold. Oh, oh damn, it's cold. Uh, yeah, I think it's just another kiddie section. Well, check it out, guys. Some kind of like mangrove or something like that. What is this? Is this the sea? Well, that's the sea there because it's like a port area, and this must be a river that's leading into the sea right here. Very windy. Oh, very windy right now. I'm gonna. I bet this is just as cold. It's the same water, isn't it? Oh, that's nice and warm. It's heated. Heated by what? I don't know. Maybe the afternoon sun was heating it up. But uh, in fact, I can just set myself up here. There's no kind of sun loungers or anything. Indonesians don't really do sunbathing like the Europeans. I don't do sunbathing either. I would fry to death. But uh, there's this a wee seating area that I'm going to sit down for like five seconds to take the dressing gown off and then I'll be in this swimming pool. And I'm logging it to myself, guys. I had it to myself. If only I wasn't vlogging. If only I wasn't distracted by the camera, I'd be already be in the pool having my swim without the brats. Okay. And I'm on the water as well. I haven't done the mini bar hunt yet, but we're right next to a mall. And in Asia, all the malls always have supermarkets on the bottom floor. So the mini, hub, the mini bar hunt should be easy at this place. Oh, yes, guys. And the water's not cold at all. There's no shock factor there at all. There's no shock factor. The only coldness I'm getting is from this wind. The pool itself, the water is heated and lovely. Yes. And we are right next to the sea. But no beach. There is a beach on the map. There's a tiny little sandy area, a yellow area called, I think it's Losari Beach on the map. I might go and try and find that, see if that's a place for hanging out. But yeah, we're kind of next to the sea with no seaside, just the industrial stuff, a port. And that looks like, is that a mosque there? It's a very interesting. Check this out, guys. I'll try and zoom in. It's a very interesting looking building, that. It almost looks something like a combination of a Hindu style temple and a mosque. But behind it, you can see it's all cargo ships and stuff like that. I think the Losari Beach, I think it's meant to be about there. I can't really see it from here. We're gonna have to go and investigate, guys, after I enjoy my wee swim right here. Yes. I thoroughly enjoyed that, guys. Thoroughly enjoyed the nice swim and the nice swimming pool. It's always the perfect way to start your stay in a hotel, isn't it? A nice swim and a nice pool. Now enjoying the nice balcony. The room, however, less than nice. I do think this is a bit grubby, guys. Maybe you think I complain too much. Maybe you think your man complains too much, but when he pays $120 a night for a hotel in Indonesia, he expects everything to be perfect, doesn't he? And everything is far from perfect. Look at this mirror. The grubby marks all over the mirror. The floor also grubby. So you can kind of tell that this was a nice hotel when they opened it. It just was probably decades ago and it's had a lot of wear and tear over the years, which is fine. Wear and tear happens. How many guests must have stayed here? Probably more than a thousand over the years. But, um, yeah, when you're paying 120 bucks a night, you expect everything to be perfect, don't you? So that's the thing. If I was paying like 40 bucks a night, I'd be, uh, I'd be pretty happy with this. Apart from the internet speed, I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. That's, yeah, that's probably actually my biggest problem. I can deal with like the grubby marks. I can deal with, you know, the grubby marks all over the walls and stuff there's just loads of them they're just like dotted around everywhere loads of scrapes and stuff you can see like little little chips taken out the door all that kind of stuff you know uh which is just aesthetics and you know i don't really care that much about it but like i said I, the last hotel that i stayed at in um Surabaya, it was like $70 a night and it was you've seen it if you watch that vlog it was way better than this there wasn't any grubby marks you can see here, it looks like a little water damage 
over there, you know, like that, chips out the door and everything. So, yeah, just worn out. The mirror right here, it has like a LED lights that go around it, but it doesn't work. So you kind of have to open that to get some light in, otherwise the bathroom is a bit dark. But here's the most horrible thing about it, guys, I think. It's uh, this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I nearly smashed that. It's, uh, it looks like mold or something. There's a black mold all the way up this rubber thing here, and it goes all the way here as well. Let's get a closer look. It's some kind of mold or staining or staining from mold, but it's horrible. It's all over it. Guys, so I noticed that while I was taking the shower and yeah, that's kind of worrying because mould can really damage your health and yeah, it's inexcusable. Like either they can clean that properly and if they're not able to clean that properly, then just replace it, replace the rubber strips. Like how much does that cost? Having your guests stay in a, a mouldy bathroom. And guys, yeah, I've done the speed test. This is me trying to upload the last vlog that I filmed the source files, the raw files. It's going to take 60, 66 hours, 66 hours for a vlog that I filmed over like three hours. So uh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. I ran the speed test right there. You can see uh, uploaded seven megabits a second. I downloaded seven megabits a second and the upload is less than two, less than two megabits a second. That's, I think the only place, no, there's no, I've never had a place where it's worse than two megabits a second. I think the only place that I could compare it, it to was the speeds I was getting in some of the hotels in Egypt. But uh, yeah, it's not acceptable at all. I'm going to speak to the staff about that. The hotel that I stayed in, in Bali, I was getting three megabits up and down and I complained to the staff and they got the MAC address for my laptop. I gave it to the IT manager and he just basically gave me like unmetered internet so I was getting like 30, 35 megabits up and down. They did that for me after I complained. So I'm going to try and do the same here. This is a kind of, I don't know, I don't know if that, I'd say less than 50% chance they'll do it for me in this hotel but um, yeah I'm going to try it anyway because yeah what am I going to do with trying to upload a vlog and it's going to take, how many days is 66 hours? Three, three days for a three hour filming session just to back up the files so if my hard drive gets nicked the files only exist now on that hard drive if this gets stolen the vlog is now gone i like to back it up to the google drive guys and uh yeah talking about the hard drive potentially getting stolen these doors right here don't lock properly so a bit of a security issue here so this is supposed to catch and it's supposed to stop this opening so this can actually lock here, but this is supposed to, you know, this is how you're supposed to stop this sliding, like this. But look, it just can go over like that. Oh, and that didn't even, that, even that burst open as well. Let's see if we can do this again and close this one properly. So that's that one closed. And yeah, you can just see the whole thing just slides and it doesn't catch here. It, uh, so anybody can just do this and slide this bit open. So, if you want to come and rob me guys, room 511 at the Rinra Hotel. If you can get room, I think that's 509, you can climb over that and steal all my stuff. <laughs> if you want guys. Um, yeah, anybody else, they're going to have to climb up this. They're going to have to climb up this right here. I think I'm safe. As long as I don't have a neighbour there that knows about the door situation and is a thief. Which I think is very unlikely. And there's probably cameras around. Here as well is there any cameras no i don't see any but uh yeah for anybody to get into that part of the hotel they're gonna have to pass security and everything like that really the only danger is the guy next door and you know even if they did have that idea i can always keep the curtains shut and um yeah they won't know if i'm in the room or not they're not gonna try and get in the room if they think somebody's in the room because then they get caught that's the way I'm thinking guys, that's the way I'm thinking. I'm also thinking I should just phone the hotel and get them to fix it, but then it's a hassle. You've got somebody in your room, you have to wait for them to come, wait for them to leave. 
uh, when I just want to go out and explore and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to have a quick look at that mall and then it's coming up to sunset guys, I think. Okay, I'll get out of this bit. Um, my door is locked but I can still get in and out easy. Um, yeah, it's coming up to sunset and I don't know if this is a daytime beach, this beach that I want to go to or if it's like one of these evening street food type beaches. I hope it's one of those ones where it's just loads of food stalls. Those are my favourite kind of beaches, like the one in Chennai. That was a good one, wasn't it? The one in Chennai or the one in Mumbai. What was that? Chowpati Beach. The one in Mumbai. The one in Chennai was Madras Beach. I can't remember. But the, that's the type of beach that I like. No, you don't like the European type of beach, all the lazy people sunbathing, do you? Just lying there getting burnt, turning red like lobsters. No, you want the action. People getting henna tattoos and pani puri and horse rides, horse rides. Yeah, I wonder if this beach has got horse rides. 5,000, wow, 5,000 horse rides. The good thing is though, 5,000 in and then Indonesian money ain't much. So if it's a 5,000 horse ride here, it'll be fine. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do guys. I'm gonna check out the mall and then we'll head to the beach. Door. See, even this bit doesn't catch. Ridiculous, look at that. What? Useless. Rubbish. Okay, access to Finisi Point Mall, it says on the L floor. Let's have a look. Hi. Ah, oh, so this is the one that I came in. I guess I have to go out and in. I thought there was maybe like a connecting bridge or something like that, or a connecting door. Maybe there is, maybe I missed it. Maybe it's over there. Let's have a look. Hello. Hello. Mall? Have to go out and uh, around? Ah, okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, it's not connected, it's just next door. Makasi. Okay, oh, well, it is kind of connected in this. Is it an atrium? Atrium area. There is a wee direct door in. And it looks dead, it looks absolutely dead, doesn't it, guys? Just a few people walking around. There is a fun world with arcade machines and such like, but it's all arcade machines for little kids. No, arcade machines for big kids like your man. Oh, there are some over there actually. Oh, here we go. There's some, some of the racing car games and stuff. Right there, Jurassic Park Arcade. We've got one of these Japanese style racing games. They're always good. And a Dance Dance Revolution. Well, it's not DDR, it's something else from 2015. I don't know. Might come down. If I've got any free time and I'm just sitting around in my room, I might come down and just... Hey, well, hi, how are you? Hello. Okay, it's good, that. Huh? And a lot of people not bothering wearing masks here. I like this. You don't get that in Jakarta. Here it's uh, a lot more chill in other parts of Indonesia, so yeah, it's kind of a dead mall though, isn't it? I'm looking for a supermarket to stock up your man's minibar. I wonder if there is one here, a hypermarket or a supermarket. Oh yes, Food Mart, you see that? Food Mart. Ah, you can get yourself a haircut for five bucks, guys. 70,000 rupees. $5 haircut right here in the mall. Oh, there's a food court with kebabs and all sorts of stuff, guys. Fried chicken, looks like bubble tea, cakes, aye, and all sorts of stuff. And actual legit restaurants as well down here. Sumo man, right there. How are you doing? Big Yin. Okay, the supermarket is right there. It looks like a decent one. It also looks like a big yin. It also looks like a big supermarket, the food mart. Aye, I'll definitely get the mini bar filled up from this place, guys. Definitely, definitely. Oh, big fresh orange juice. Look at the size of that. Okay, that'll be good. A dollar. 15,000 rupiah. That's one of the favourites there, the Thai green tea from Ichitan. The Milo is good as well. 
always love a nice cold Milo some electrolytes and the Larutan right here I haven't tried this flavour right here Rasa Lechi Lychee flavour hmm okay I'll give it a go unfortunately they don't have any Coke Zero by the looks of it it's just real sugary coke in fact that's it there coca-cola zero out of stock there's a big red label over it it's too popular guys people love it too much people also love pebs i love it anyway i'll have a can of this not much in the sugar-free variety though unfortunately ah, these look interesting i haven't tried these yet i've tried silver queen it's a nice chocolate but these are ones with nuts almond coated in milk chocolate We'll give it a go. Oh, these are good as well. Milo Nuggets. A limited edition hockey. Coconut and brown sugar flavour. Okay, we'll give that a go, guys. I'll shove a few more things in the basket and then I'll chuck it all in my mini bar fridge and we'll head to the beach, guys. We'll head to the beach. Here we are guys, Pan Thai Losari. Pan Thai is beach. The beach will be down there, but over here I don't see any street vendors or anything like I was expecting. I thought this would be lined with street food and such like, little carts. But I don't even see an actual beach. Where's the sand? I see, yeah, there's no beach. This is yellow. <laughs> this is yellow on the map, on Google Maps, it's yellow and yeah, there's no sand. This is it. This is the bit that's yellow on Google Maps, guys. Hi. There's a couple of boats. I don't know if we can go on them or what, what they're there for. It looks like kind of a pirate ship or something. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this boat is. Seems to be people just chilling out. I thought maybe it was like a wee cafe or a restaurant or something, but it's just privately owned and yeah the same with the one there as well okay guys that was disappointing i don't have a plan b unfortunately what's plan b gonna be just keep walking the streets until i find something to eat i'm hungry your man's hungry he's up for some local food he thought he would get it here at pantai losari it's not even a beach that is a major major letdown Guys, there's another section right here. It is a wee street food area. It's pretty quiet, which I appreciate. I've been going to a lot of these night markets where it's extremely crowded, and this one is nice and quiet. Okay, let's see if we can find something yummy around here. Hello, how are you? Oh, you have Pisang Epi? I will come back for it. First, I want to find Choto Makasa. Choto Makasa? Here. Ah, so I'm in Chari. Oh, Chari ini sini cuma pisang ngepek. Ah, tidak punya coto makasa. Tidak ada sangat ada. Oh, sangat. Ah, okay, pasar malam. Ah, okay. I will have a look around first. I will come back. I will come back for the pisang epi. Okay. Oh, a lot of them have the pisang epi. So, banana. Yeah, it's a famous dessert here in Makassar is pisang epi. It's like three. Ah, three in a row are selling it. I'm trying to find something else. I'm not ready for the sweet food yet. Also, another one selling pisang epi. It's very famous here. All of them. In fact, all of them look banana, 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 banana. They're also selling pisang epi. Ah, okay. There's like 12 stalls selling pisang epi, but no customers. There's nobody here for some reason. Yeah, Hi. Argentina. Argentina? Yeah, okay, bola. Oh yeah, bola Argentina. Okay, oh, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. He thinks I'm uh, for Argentina because I'm wearing a blue top. Maradona, hand of God. Yeah, they're all selling the, the pisang epi. Okay, no variety here at all. <laughs> they're all got the same stuff. Oh my God. Oh, you're grilling. Yeah. That's for the pisang epi. epi. This for pisang epi here? Yeah. Ah, okay. So let's see how he does it. He grills some bananas. It's a specific type of banana as well. I think you can't just use any type of banana. And 
pressed. Yeah, they get grilled and then I think they get pressed and covered in some sort of um, syrup. Brother, satu porsi. One portion, please. I will try one. Uh, can I watch? Satu Original. Original. Oh, you have toppings. Ah, okay. Original. I will try the original one. Okay. Can I look? It's okay. Okay, good. Oh, that's what he does. He squashes them. Check it out. They get squashed in this. First they're grilled. Yeah, good. First they get grilled up. And then they get squashed. Hello, how are you? Apakaba? No, bye bye Gaja. Bye? Bye? Yeah, bye. Okay. Good. Ah, I don't understand. Saya bisa Jack. Hidungnya Ben. Bahasa Indonesia. Ah, what? What? I don't understand, I don't understand. Okay, we've got the flat ones. This for me? Yeah. Ah, okay, so it looks like one portion is three bananas. And this is the Banana syrup. Press. I think it's palm sugar syrup. Yeah, palm sugar syrup. And that's what they're telling me the English translation is. All these stalls they were shouting at me, banana press. So here it's called pisang epi. Pisang is banana. And I guess epi is uh, press. Okay, this for me. Okay, I will try. Uh, this berapa harganya? How much? How much? Lima plus ribu. Okay, 15,000. So it's a buck. A dollar. I'll get some good lighting for you guys. I'll sit here. Only one US dollar for this Pisang Epi, the local sweet treat here in Makassar. Check it out guys, these squashed bananas covered in this thick syrup. Oh, doesn't that look tasty? Let's give a taste of the syrup first. Oh, that is ultra sweet. Oh, that is incredibly ultra sweet now bananas themselves can be sweet so it's sweetness added to sweetness and it's grilled so grilled bananas are always lovely i've had fried bananas before peace and goreng and they were tremendous so i think it's going to be like that with extra sweetness oh oh so sweet um it's uh, sangat manis sangat manis yeah, very sweet, very, very sweet. And the bananas, they keep a good texture when they're grilled. They still keep, they're soft, but they're also have a firmness to them. They don't turn into a complete mush or anything, you know? Um, I know it's a specific type of banana that they use for this, only one specific type. I think in English, they're called ladyfinger bananas. Those are the ones, so if you want to try and make this at home, Ladyfinger bananas are the ones to get. This would be easy to make at home. Just grill up some ladyfinger bananas, squash them, cover them in syrup. Mmm. Uh, te susu. Te susu. Yes, milk tea. Okay. I'm gonna get some milk tea to wash it down with. I was reading this menu trying to figure out if I could recognize any of the words on it. I recognize te, that's tea. I recognize susu, that's milk. I will have some te susu, some milk tea, to go with my pisang epe. Mm. Oh, the texture. The texture is so good, it's just perfect. And I passed a load of these stalls, but he's the one that I went to because he was grilling them up fresh. Like he's grilling up more right there. So he's the first one in the row of like 30 stalls. So maybe he gets all the, no, in fact he's not, there's even more there. Just all these stalls selling Pisang Epi, how do they do business when they're all competing with each other guys? It must be a um, tough business, but he's grilling up a load of them there, look. Look how many he's grilling up. 
There's a few dozen right there. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Every day, how many you sell? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, peace and happy. Yeah. Okay, I'll try and translate. I wonder um, every day how many he would sell if he's growing up that many. But yeah, he's the man that I went to because I knew that we're going to be fresh. I got them straight, fresh off the grill. There's the other ones, they might have been cooked like there's the stall right there ahead of me. There's a lot of bananas lying there. Maybe they were cooked like three or four hours ago and I've lost that beautiful texture. Mmm. Here's my milk tea coming. And they boiled the tea with the milk. That's very strange. Normally, if I was making milk tea, I would make the tea and then pour the milk in it. Cools the tea back down a bit and makes it just perfect. But I can see that when she poured it out of the kettle there, it was already white. And that's the way I like my milk tea actually. White, a load of milk. Okay. Tesusu. Tesusu, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's it, I think. She actually boiled the milk on its own and then just added it to a tea bag in a cup. I think that's what just happened there. Yeah, like this, you can see. The tea bag was in the cup and she added boiling milk. That's a strange way to do it. I've never thought of doing it that way. Okay, let's finish this off. The sweet treat. Mmm. Guys, it's like 90% milk. It's so milky. I love it. I love it. Guys, all the sweetness straight from the Pisang Epi is the syrup right there. It's going to add some sweetness to this tea milkshake. Surely I'm not the only person who's thought of this idea. It seems natural. Mmm, okay. It's cooled down as well. I can start slurping this milkshake, tea milkshake. Mm. Oh yeah, 90% milk, fantastic. We have a power cut, guys. Only in this section. Oh, is it coming back on? I think maybe the other ones are not getting any business. Maybe sabotage does down here. Oh, yeah. But the milk tea was lovely. I'll need to have my tea made that way again in the future. Never thought about doing it that way. Having 100% milk and no water. It was fantastic. Let's go and pay for this. Brapa. Um, Pisang Epi was 15,000. And then, oh, I've got my bill here. Ah, okay, 25,000. 15 and 10, good, okay. Okay, 25,000. Sama Sama! Okay, I'll see you next time. Guys, the Pisang Epi and Milk Tea Treat. Right, I'll have a wander. I've not been down this way. I will have a wander and see if there's anything different from Pisang Epi. If it's just Pisang Epi all the way, I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. I can't eat Pisang Epi for every meal. I think it is, guys. I think literally it is. This is Pisang Epi town. Yeah, they're all they're all just selling uh, Pisang Epi and nothing else. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes, guys. I can confirm it. This is a Pisang Epi only. A Pisang Epi only place. Oh, very good. And corn. They also have corn. Corn and Pisang Epi. Not really in the mood for corn. Even if that wee boy that went famous on TikTok thinks it's delicious. The juice! Oh, it's got the juice, oh, has it? Oh, it's got the juice, don't care. Your man's up for something a bit more... adventurous than corn. It's too simple. Bananas are simple food as well, but when you grill it, flatten it, cover it in sugar syrup, it is delicious. Right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Hi, how are you? Hello, how are you? Oh, thank you so much. What are you saying? The city? Yeah, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, I am? Sunday, I am. 
Oh, chicken satay. Ah, oh, okay, good. I'm up for some chicken satay. Ah, but satu porsi, one portion. How much? Ah, okay, double ribu for uh, berapa? Berapa? Delapan tusuk. Three. Delapan. Oh, delapan. Oh, eight, eight, eight. Okay, I get eight pieces for twenty thousand. Okay, satay I am. Okay, me, no spice. No, no. Um, no chili. Tidak mau. Yeah, tidak mau. Don't want spice. Just want the meat. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Welcome, Indonesia. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, from? Scotland. Scotlandia. Yeah, Scotlandia, yes. In Indonesian? Satay with rice or ketupat? No, just only satay. Satay only? Yeah, he's, he's like, like, it's like no rice? Oh, how can you do it? Indonesia always yeah. eat with rice, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, with rice, with rice. Tell him with rice, with rice, tell him. Okay, with rice, with rice. Yes. I do it Indonesian style. YouTube. Yes, YouTube and Facebook, TikTok, TikTok. Subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe to channel. From Papua. From Papua. Papua. Ah, good. Ah, okay. I want to see you. He's got them dipped. He's got the satays dipped in something like a marinade. They're constantly. Oh, ho, ho. What a steam. Hi, bro. How are you? Hi. Apakaba. That is Scotlandia. Scotland, from Scotland, oh. Jamaica. Okay, good. Yeah, he's got them. You can't see much for the, the smoke, but he has them uh, in some kind of marinade here. Yeah. This sweet or? This what? What is this? Sauce, sauce, sauce. sauce. sauce yeah. Ketchup. Yeah, betul. This one, oh, it's coming from this. Hmm, I don't know, green leaf. That sounds uh, interesting. Are we getting some uh, green leaf in our satay? Is it going to be happy? A happy satay? Let's see. Let's see, guys. You know, like if you go to Cambodia, you get happy pizza and such. Like they add a bit of green stuff to it. <laughs> Is it going to be like that? Scotlandia. Yes, Scotlandia. Cold country. Yes, my country, very cold. Your country, very hot. <laughs> yeah, so hot. Especially when you're eating food on the street, because they're, like, they're cooking up stuff here, here, so you're getting all that heat as well. And then we're kind of covered, so we're not even getting the breeze, so. Yeah, hot and sweaty here on the streets. Subscribe, subscribe. Yes, yeah, subscribe. What is your name? My name is Angi. Angi? Yes. Orang Makassar. Makassar. Uh, he's a Sulawesi. Makassar man. He's a yeah. Makassar man. Good. And what else is being sold here? Bakso. Uh, mi goreng. Mi goreng, nasi, nasi goreng. goreng. Ah. Ah, okay. Bakso. Chai. And Lusari, I eat pisang epe. Oh, pisang epe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, yes. Very good, good, very good. good. I just eat it. Yeah. Green bean? No, I don't like this oh. one. This make your mouth smell. Oh. This one, patai, patai. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know this one. Make your mouth a bit smelly. <laughs> what she say? What she say? You like danda? What? Woman? I like woman. Oh, I like woman. Well, well that specific woman or in general? Oh. I like woman in general. Yeah, general. That specific woman? I don't know. I like. A little bit younger than that, to be honest with you guys. Okay, he's preparing a bowl of rice for me. I thought he was getting it in the wee packet. It looks like he's giving me a huge bowl. So I was actually walking down the street to go and eat Choto Makassar, the famous local soup. There's a shop down there that sells it, according to Google Maps. But then these guys seem friendly, so I'm sitting down here and eating some satay, some chicken satay instead. You like drink? Drink. I will drink the tea bottle. Tea bottle. Yes. Tea bottle. S, S, S. S, yes, S. Good. I need the cold one. He's gonna give me some ice. S means ice. Here. My, I am. Satay is still cooking up. 
It's for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces. Okay, thank you, brother. There's some ice for my tea bottle. Tea bottle, yeah. Bottle of tea. Let's see if this can cool me down a wee bit. Just poured a bunch of sauce over that satay right there. Oh, sauce kachang? Yes. Oh, yes, I like. Good. Yes. Like. Sauce kachang, good, yeah? Sauce kachang. Yeah, subscribe. Yes. Tell everyone to subscribe, okay? okay Thank yeah. you. Okay. He's helping me out. Dale. Dale. Yeah, it's my name. Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. Find your man there. Find your man on social media enjoying your satay I am. Oh yeah. Oh it's all char grilled. Oh it's nice. Chili. Chili. Oh nah. I don't want that. No. Oh. I just like the the peanutty taste and the meaty taste. I don't need the spice. It doesn't add anything. It just adds hotness, which I don't really need. I want the natural flavour of the meat and the peanut sauce. Lovely. I love their peanut sauce here in Indonesia. The gado gado as well, that's with the peanut sauce. And I love it as well. It's, it really adds something to meat and to vegetables with the gado gado. It's just all vegetables. They pour that peanut sauce over it. And it makes it taste great. Indonesian style with the rice. Soska Chang, Enak, Enak. Hello. 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 Masuk ke Indonesia. Oh, I wanted to wave. He coughed on me. I wanted to wave. Bit loaded with the sauce, loaded, loaded. Mm. My name is Dale. Subscribe, subscribe. You're Orang Makassar. Yes. Orang Makassar. Oh, okay, good. Oh, he's getting the same as me. Good taste. He has good taste. You're uh, father, son, father, son. No, no, okay. You're your best friend. Friend. Ah, oh, okay. And you got me goreng with tello. Yeah, okay, good. I finished my satay, guys. I'm just demolishing the rice now with the sauce. Good sauce. Yeah. No, enough already. Yeah, oh. good already. Yeah. You can YouTube. Oh, channel YouTube. Dale D A L E. Yes, the first Dale, Dale Phillip. Okay, subscribe, subscribe. Oh, they put in in one now. Okay. Wow. Subscriber. Subscriber, plus one, plus two. Yeah. Enjoy that. And that iced tea bottle. Told me down a wee bit as well. Feeling pretty good right now. Who takes the money? Boss for money. Boss. Woman. Yeah. Always woman take the money, huh? Berapa? Dan dan teh botol, dan teh botol. Teh botol, dan teh botol. Delapan. Ah, twenty-eight thousand. Okay, eight thousand for the teh botol. Egg, 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 egg. Okay, twenty-eight thousand. Thank you. See you next time. Oh, we get high five. Okay, good. High five. Okay, bye bye everyone. See you. Oh, you love me? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for the love. I got some love. I got some subscribers, some love, some delicious food, and a nice cold drink. Feeling pretty satisfied, guys. Feeling pretty satisfied. Hello, Mr. Hello, brother. How are you? Good. Hello, brother. Hello. Rindra Hotel. Yeah. Rindra, Braparganya. How much? How are you? How much? Rendra. Rendra. Rendra, you know? 
He doesn't know. Where are you at? Hey, brother. You know what, Rendra? No, the Rendra. Rendra Hotel. Okay, Rendra. Ah, oh, but I, I was going to take this man. Okay, he's having a cigarette. Okay. Uh, motor. Huh? Motor book. Motor. Oh, yeah. you have motor. Ah, okay, yeah. Brapa. Gerindra. Uh, Brapa Arganya. Fifty thousand. Oh. <laughs> you killed me. No, I'm walking the, uh, 10 minutes. How much? 50,000 rupiah. No, I need tower, tower. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, no, too much. I'm walking uh, 10, uh, 10 minutes. Kipar Gerindra Hotel. Yes, Saya Jalan. Gerindra ni sebelah kanan adi. Lima plus minute. Saya Saya Jalan Lima plus minute. Lima plus minute. Yeah. Yo. No, okay. okay. No, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Amos. See you. Huh? A do polo ribo. Do polo? A do polo. Good. For you, uh, 30. five minutes. 30, huh? Okay, 30. Okay. We can go 30. But motorcycle, right? Motor, motor. Ah, oh, you have motor. Ah, okay, okay. Motorbike. Let's get me on the motorbike for 30,000 to my hotel. Motor, motor. You come from? Scotland. You know Scotland? Yeah. You like massage? No, I don't like massage. Chiki chiki again? Huh? You like chiki chiki? I like chiki chiki. Yeah. No, I don't like to be chiki chiki. <laughs> I like to be good. <laughs> yes. How much do you get in class? Huh? How much do you? I don't understand. Okay, I'm jumping on the back, yeah? Yeah. Okay, get a backy. Getting a backy. Okay, brother, 30,000. Thank you so much. See you. Okay, okay, see you. And I will see you guys on the next adventure. My pleasure. <laughs>